we're gonna install the clutch uh, the clutch assembly oil slinger clutch rod clutch rod and adjuster Over the weekend, my clutch cable snapped. So I bought a new cable and then when I went to, to uh, replace it, I found out that uh, my throw out bearing and the two washers that go on here were completely pulverized. There was nothing left of it. Um, and then I went to uh, replace this part, but the sucker's stuck in there. I can't take it out. I tried really hard to pull it out. What I ended up doing is I took off the nut to the clutch adjustment adjustment and then I torqued this back until it popped. So once it popped, I pulled this out and the clutch adjustment, the rod and the oil slinger on the other side are supposed to be three independent pieces. I guess with the heat, it fused this together. Same thing on the other side. But luckily, by pulling that out, I was able to break that off. Therefore freeing the, the oil slinger. Apparently this happens if uh, you're, if your um, clutch is not not um adjusted properly and it causes this to fuse together see how you can even see how hot it got it fused this piece these pieces together but uh if you ever encounter having your oil slinger oil slinger is right here it should be able just to come off like this it fused right in there I watch many videos of these guys taking it apart and they go like, okay, just take this out. And I couldn't get this guy out. Um, and the reason I have to get it out is because the actual oil slinger part broke off. And that's part of that unit. So in order to replace this, this, has, this is all one piece. Okay, we're going to assemble the oil slinger assembly. This, um, I, I had a special order of this. This was about 20 bucks from Hardy Davidson. So this is about, this cost me about uh, $24 altogether here. And then you just there you go now I'm ready to put it on the bike since uh, the bikes leaning this way I'm gonna put this one on first and you put the the smooth end in and you turn it I go about halfway it might be a, it might stick a little bit just use your uh, an allen wrench about halfway and then of course you got your adjustment nut there you go so on this side it's a little bit easier as you can see I've been waiting for this part so I have everything kind of ready to go. Slide the rod in there. And your oil slinger. And you're ready to go. After putting all the cases back on, 
and some new oil. I took it for a spin, smooth. But if you have any com any questions or comments, please feel free to ask me. Um, please be safe out there. Thank you so much for watching my video.